Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm going to probably come back later after I come from the gym and do a card reading if I don't do it before I leave, okay? Because um, it's been two days now. And we want to stay on task or whatever um, with just uh, putting out something to keep y'all with a heads up. So, guys, okay, this karmic is and it could be multiple. Like, you, you can't just say that it's just the karmic that, you know, is, you know, that's that have a thing for divine masculine or the karmic that is jealous of you or the karmic that want to be your clone. Da, 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 da. It is so much that go with that. It could be anyone. It could be guys that are in a dry competition with you that you don't even know of. It could be family. It could be friends. It could be but they are embodying some of these traits. These traits are, you know, signs that you are going to see and notice about some of the karmics that are around, around you. It could be family members, again, that I'm stating or whatever. But anyway, they feel it. They feel something big is on the horizon for you. They feel that, you know, you're, you know... You're just as badass or whatever that, you know, um, it could be a long time coming that, you know, something good is about to happen for you or you're working, you're doing something, something that this person, like make this person be jealous of you or be in a silent competition with you. This person, these persons could be right up around you. Or whatever that you're unaware of, but you're seeing signs because they're showing you. Uh, okay, for number one, it could be a person or whatever that you know. Um, maybe you during these years or whatever of clearing karmic cycles and clearing things that you in you know ways and actions that you did things before maybe you have changed you know a bit or whatever like you could have been a person that like just had to get your hair done every week or every two weeks or whatever maybe you don't get your hair done as often well this person that's you know that's karmic or can that still need childhood woundings to be dealt with, this person is up around you or whatever, and they could be jealous or whatever of the way that you have always, you know, tried to um, take care of yourself or whatever. And now, like, this person or whatever, uh, they could know that, you know, it's things that you want to do and it's things that you could be around them talking or whatever and telling them like, girl, yeah, like, you know, I need to get my hair done or whatever, whatever. And if you hang with this person, like, by all means necessary, they try to um, keep you from, you know, getting your hair done in some certain type of way that you want your hair done or they just you know you'll you'll detect different things you'll detect like when you're talking about some certain type of thing thing that's important or some of your work or you know practicing or doing things or whatever you can see them like look at you like kind of off like funny and they get really quiet or things like that you know it could be a person that's been your friend for the longest it could even be y'all I mean when it's karmic cycles and karmic people around you and 
things that are going on or whatever. Um, it's crazy or whatever because it could be family. And, you know, this person could not even be aware that they're acting in some sort of manner. But, you know, you detect it and you can see it. And, you know, they try to make it seem like you're crazy or you're thinking off or you're thinking, you know, weird about them. But you're seeing the signs or whatever, like maybe this person, you didn't even give the, this person a chance to always like try to put you, you'll notice or whatever, like they may uh, come around you and they could be planning trips or things like that to go out of town and they leave you out or, you know, they, you know, um, just do a lot of stuff and they try to do it without you. And, you know, you could be in the store with this person and instead of this person, you know, uh, one to be around you while, you know, you guys are shopping or instead of this person, you know, wanting to know, let you know what they're doing or what they're up to. They walk way off from you and you, you know, you're, you're looking for them in stores and, you know, different things like that. Um, they secretly, like, it could be things that, you have mentioned to them that you want to do or whatever. And like they secretly go like the next day or you'll find out or whatever that they went and did these certain things that you have talked about doing or buying or they'll go and do it themselves or whatever. And like in the past, you, you cut off people that you knew that were like that towards you or whatever, but karmic people that need healing or whatever, you'll start seeing signs or whatever of them acting in some certain manner towards you or whatever. So you're going to have to be leery of that. And, you know, it doesn't matter who they are. They could be family, friends, coworkers, whatever, you know, um, you just, you'll know of different things that they're doing that, you know, you'll start seeing the signs. Well, this is because they know that you have grown and they know that it's something that you have or you're doing that they don't like it and they don't want you to do it because they want to do it or they feel that you shouldn't do it, that Maybe this gift or whatever that God gave you or whatever they feel like or whatever that that's something that they should be doing. It could even be like age differences or whatever. And this person feel like, you know, you shouldn't be doing that. That's something that they need to be doing or something of that nature. Like you have to be leery of that because right now that is occurring as well so you're gonna notice or whatever but the key of it is is you're going to have to break away from during this season and this time to focus just on you it's gonna be very critical that you like you know cut those people off y'all may come back together in the near future or whatever, and, you know, start back being friends or whatever, whatever, but this certain type of gifting that you have in work and um, career that is on the horizon that you are supposed to be focusing on is going, going to require you solely focusing on yourself. You're also, when, you, when you're detecting all of this, I see a lot of divine films or masculines. You guys are addressing it to other people. Y'all see it. Y'all know what they're doing. And y'all are checking them about this behaviors, these behaviors that they are having around you. And it's nothing wrong with that. So... Make sure that, you know, you put these people back in their place. 
again, it is also people around you that could be in your community or on the internet to do with some type of work that you are doing. It could be male or female. They are taking your work and making people think that it was their idea. It's It comes from them. And they're also taking your work and trying to like put a stomp on it, like a twist to it. Like maybe it's some work, maybe you write or something of that nature. Maybe you sing, maybe you rap, maybe it's something to do like that where people know what you're doing. They are taking your work and your ideas or whatever and putting a twist to them. They could be adding more to it. They could try to flip your words and try to make it sound better or like this is them that's, that is embodying this that you're speaking on in your music or your, your book or writing or something of that nature. They are doing that. It's karmic people around you that are taking your work and using it for the best of their ability. They could be taking it to use it in movies. They could be in this. Doesn't matter who the people are. They are doing it and they are making money off of it. So in this season, you're going to want to be more quiet about your ideas. And if you have story times or if you have been giving out a great deal of information on the internet or in your community or whatever, you're going to want to hold that and use it for yourself. It's sad to, you know, think that you got to be selfish like that. But in this season, if you don't, this could cause a delay or could cause a setback in your work. People are on the internet and they see your work. Your work is good. They're in a silent competition with you. They are taking your work and they are putting a stomp on it and twisting it. So, and if you don't understand what I'm stating by that, that's what I just explained to you. They could be taking your story that happened to you, could be your testimony or anything, adding to it, taking it away from it. They could take your story and make it, put stuff with it, make it seem like you're the bad person and you're just stating that someone did something to you that isn't true and when it really happened just the way that you told told the story but they want to make it seem like you are a bad person or it's something wrong with you so they are taking it adding to it subtracting things from it they are having people playing parts to play out your story or to Or to imitate your story that where things have happened to you. So in this season, you want to keep quiet. Whatever it is you are doing, don't speak on it too much. Take all of that and put it into you. Karmic people are around you deep, really deep. And they don't have no ideas of their, their own because their spirits are empty they, re, they are refusing to go to God and heal. They are refusing to change. And they wonder why they don't have this much knowledge and information. You have to go to God. You have to go to spirit. You have to surrender all of the things you have been doing. You have to go and change your mindset. You have to go and change the way you have been treating people. Change the way you have been backstabbing people, betraying people. It's even some scriptures in the Bible. And I think if, um, guys, I think I have written scriptures about betraying and backstabbing and things like that. When you do things like that to people, it's going to happen back to you. So you can't be mad when 
things start happening to you and you're acting so innocent. Like, why is this happening to me? I don't know why you use your energy to do this to someone. And so that's why it's happening to you. Don't play brand new when things start happening to you. We are on a time scale and we are on um, in a dimension where, again, I'm not going to stress this too much longer. It used to be like 10, 20 years. You could do things to people that were ugly. You could use your energy to be bad towards people. You could do things to people. I don't care. Kill, steal, destroy people, whatever, backstab people. Whatever you use your energy for. And now, since things, you know, things have been getting so much worse and people are doing so much evil and so much bad or whatever to hurt other people, God is not waiting for things to happen right back to you. It's going to happen to you and you're going to be looking soggy. So I, uh, I cannot stress this enough. If you are dealing with karmic cycles, karmic issues or karma on either level, on either scale, it could be good or bad. It depending on us and our energy and what we use our spirit for. If you use stuff even to silent hate, to silent manipulate, to be silent, deceptive, it's going to silent sneak up on your ass and happen right back to you. So core mix or whatever, I cannot stress enough. You know of the things that you are doing. It could be family, friends or whoever. If you are choosing not to heal your childhood wounds and you're a really jealous person, and you have used your energy to do stuff to be deceptive and to get to the top of the ladder or whatever, you're going to hit your ass. You're going to fall from that ladder this year and next year and the years to come. You're going to see a great big falling. And I don't care if it's just in your spirit. You know, you're going to be stripped of your spiritual assets, your giftings, things that are in your treasure chest box or whatever. And you're going to be wondering like, wow, why did this happen to me or whatever? But you're going to be aware of what is happening to you because you know what you did. God is even going to show you what you did. So, I am fair warning you, warning you, if it's things that you know that you've been doing for years and you wonder why you've been stuck and you've been in this same, what you have been doing is you try to, you may go try to play this game on another set of people than what you did before, but you're still operating in that same manner. On those same people, you just went to a new person to play out your karmic parts and energies that you're using. You're, t you're stuck in a karmic cycle. You haven't got off that Ferris wheel. All you do is you may go to another job. And in that job, you're using the same techniques that you have been using for years to pray and play on other people. This stuff is going to come back and bite you like a thief in the night. So when God tell you he's like, when God tell us he's coming like a thief in the night, this is the things that you have been doing that is not good. That's not on a high vibration. It's on a low vibration techniques and bad energies and spirits that you have been using your energy for to play out a part or pray on the weak or do something ugly, it's going to turn around and it's going to happen to you now. And it's going to be where people can see it. Things are start, going to start getting exposed around you that you know, and you know, don't buck your eyes and be like, oh, 
why is this person doing this to me? I haven't done any. I haven't did anything to them, and I don't. I don't even know why this is happening to me. I am. I wouldn't do it. No, no, no. You know what you did, why you did it, who you did it to, and it's gonna happen back to you. It's coming quicker than you know it. So don't try to play Little Miss Pity Party or Little Mr. I would have never do nothing like that. Why is this happening to me? I don't know why this is happening to me. And all this and that. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, sir. No, sir. It's going to all be happening back to you. If you was a person that got into relationships, you like to move from relationship to relationships, couldn't nothing satisfy you. You you you're with someone that's beautiful, but you see someone that you think look uh, ten times better or whatever. So you just have to have that person, and you jump over there, and you want a piece of that pie, and you want a slice of that pie, and you want all you want all these different types of slices of, of pies of different flavors and colors and shapes and sizes and all this and cakes and you just got to have a slice. Now is the time where you could be a person now. Now you you may feel the need that, oh, I'm ready to settle down or whatever and get my life together. And I'm not going to do just because you decide to settle down and get your life together Although you're working on changing the karmic conditions that you have been operating out of, it doesn't mean these karmic you don't have to pay back for what you have done. So be ready and waiting for whether it was good or bad. That's why I state we have to be careful. Our minds, our thoughts, our ways, our actions things that we do to people, whatever, because all that stuff is going to come back to you. And it's happening in this season. You're going to see this more than anything. You're go going to start seeing people that have used their energy in a bad way. It's going to be happening to you or someone close to you, your kids, or something of that nature, you're going to be able, you're going to have to sit there and witness it if it's happening. If it jumped from you and you didn't catch it and it went and it ha it's happening to your child, you're going to be there witnessing it and you're not going to be able to do anything about some type of karmic deed that you did to someone else that is playing out that's being a part of your children's life or whatever, whatever that is bad, that is occurring to them, that it's going to hurt you. You're going to witness it. So guys, that's why I stay or whatever. You have to get off this. You have to give all this stuff back. And if you don't know how to give it back, you need to stay tuned to my channel because I am going to bring be bringing forth messages and things that you can do to give this back up to the enemy, to get karmic justice for what you have done that was not in a great big light, that was in darkness, that were from a bad energy or a bad in space or whatever you can give it back and start and change your life and your mindset and all of that and start operating differently. You can give it back. So, karmics, I am very aware of what's going on around you. It could be several people off the internet or whatever. Y'all sit there and y'all sit back and y'all watch me and you take my ideas and you use it on your platform or whatever, here in the near future, you're going to see a great big falling away off of you guys' channel. And it's going to be from taking other people's ideas, their things, 
and using it for your platform. You didn't support them. You didn't give them any type of love of energy. You didn't, you wasn't operating in a manner of showing any support or love for that person. You did it secretly. You took something from them secretly and you went and used it. You're still going to get that karma back. It's not that no, you know, um, it's okay for you to do that. No, it's not. Especially if you're not a person that is maybe subscribed to this person channel, you know, or you don't really like that, that person, but you're taking stuff from their platform and from their channel and their work, and you're using it for your platform, but you didn't do it in, uh, in the light, you did it in the dark. Sneaking and doing these things is still being done in a not so great manner. You know what I'm saying? Like you're still stealing. You're still taking it silently. You're still stealing it from them. And maybe you know that, you know, this person, but you're trying to keep them down on a lower level than you. It's some great things that they put out, but you go and you steal it secretly, you take it from them and you go and you don't give them their props. You don't give them, well, spirit still sees that. And it's still not done in a great way. You're going to get that karma back. Someone is going to come and take something from you or someone's going to see that you're struggling in something or something around you is going to happen and you're going to get the end of the stick. It's not going to be, you're not going to, it's not going to be in a so great manner or whatever. Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry, y'all. The kids, my daughter, ordered DoorDash. And, well, again, I say I'm going to have to get ready and get out of here in just a minute. It is freezing, freezing cold. I have to take a shower or bath so I can get ready to go and work out or something of that nature. Um... And it's the same thing to do also with uh, like witchcraft or whatever, whatever, you know, witchcraft and all of that stuff, you know, I'm not telling anyone what to do, but if you practice that stuff or whatever, and it was done in a bad light and all witchcraft or whatever, most of the time it's to do something towards someone that was not naturally um, operated and like, or it's to do something ugly towards someone or it's to get things or whatever that you can't get by your own willpower because your spiritual growth isn't high enough or it's not, you know, it's not on a great level or whatever. So you can't get things like or accomplish things that you're wanting or you can't get a certain type of person or you can't have something that it's to do something with if you perform witchcraft it's to do something that you can't do by your own hands you can't do it you wouldn't be able to do it had you not went and practiced this 
went to this evil altar to practice witchcraft to get this certain type of thing that you want, that you know that maybe God don't want you to have or you shouldn't be having or you have to do the work for it. So you take the easy way out of going and performing witchcraft on someone because you want it just like that. You know what I'm saying? With a snap of a finger or whatever. You don't want to work hard for it. You don't want to heal. You don't want to stop being bad or you don't want to operate in light. You know, you want to keep it hidden or in the dark or you're secretly doing something. Witchcraft it's not seen in a great big light. I don't care what people say and it's evil and, you know, it's going to come back on you. Whatever you use, you, witchcraft is basically abusing something, abusing, you know, uh, it's almost like abusing a gift that you don't have or abusing Something that you don't have, that you don't embody, something, a gift that you don't have naturally to be able to have the things that you shouldn't have or something of that nature. Not stating that you can't have it, but you got to do the work for it. Do you guys get my drift? Do you understand what I'm saying? You have to work hard. We all have to work hard to get to a certain type of level that we are trying to reach or to have things that we don't have. You know, you have to do some work to get things that you don't have or whatever. You know, it's going to require work. Like even if, you know, say you want to be, um, <clears throat> say you want to be a psychiatrist or <clears throat> something of that sort say you want to be um, a preacher or a teacher or something of that nature you're not just going to jump right off the porch and be able to go out it's going to take some work you know and in, in time you will get better at whatever this job is or whatever this is that you want to accumulate or you want to do. You're not going to just jump right out the box and be, oh, I'm the best in the West unless you have practiced, unless you have been doing this certain type of job or this gifting for a long time. And in time, it get better and better and better or whatever. And it comes naturally. It comes from your gut. It comes from your spirit or whatever. It comes from your abdomen. It comes from you letting go of things and not, you know, say that 